Hello, my Aqua gang, Aqua family. How the freak are my Aquarians doing? Hope my Aquas are doing well. You already know. It's Aquarius. Go, 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 go. Nice and early, guys. We're bringing it nice and early for us Aquarians, okay? Um, welcome back to another reading. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? This is general, so please take what makes sense for you and leave the rest for some other freak <laughs> Okay, all right, so let's see what's coming towards Aquarius in love. What do we got for the Aquarius? Okay, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please like this video. That way other Aquarians can have the opportunity to see this blue thing today, okay? Thank you. <laughs> all right, what is coming towards Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love? What is coming towards Aquarius in love, spirit? What do we have for Aquarius? What do you have coming towards Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. So you have growing closer. They got a freak that wants to grow closer to the Aquarius, okay? What's coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius. What is coming to the Aquarius in love? Okay. So then you have things are changing. Cool. Bottom of the deck is solitude. So this could be you in solitude right now or the person you've been dealing with is in some kind of solitude. Okay. Apparently you haven't heard from this freak. Aquarius. What is coming to Aquarius in love, spirit? What do you got? For Aquarius, go, 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 go. <laughs> what is coming to Aquarius in love? What is coming to Aquarius in love, spirit? Ooh, what do we have for Aquarius in love? Hierophant, what's coming towards Aquarius in love? Mm. So you have the Hierophant, you have the Eight of Wands. You could be dealing with someone who is long distance, okay? What's coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius. Ooh, Nine of Swords. What's coming towards Aquarius in love? Queen of Cups. Judgment. What's coming towards Aquarius in love? What else do we have? Spirit coming towards Aquarius in love. So Aquarius, you could be dealing with uh, a Cancer, a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Leo. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? What else? Temperance, Aquarius. What else is coming towards Aquarius in love, please? Let me get two cards. Aquarius. Hmm. It's interesting, Aquarius, because I feel like... Uh, Some of you, I feel like things have kind of remained the same with whoever this person is, okay? Maybe you're kind of in your head about this this person, whoever this person is, and the situation. I feel like you're trying to be patient at the same time, though, because you do have temperance here. Queen of Cups. I feel like, obviously, you still love and care about this person. This person still loves and cares about you. Let me get one more card. What's coming towards Aquarius in love? What is coming towards Aquarius in love? One more card. And the Knight of Cups. So this could be someone, yeah, you have solitude. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is someone who obviously you haven't heard from. Maybe they just needed some time to reflect, to think, to soul search, to be on their own. This could also be your energy, okay? And you're coming out of that. Or this person will be coming out of the solitude. Maybe they just needed to kind of heal their baggage with the star card. Yeah, I mean, the star card does talk about healing. They may have healed their baggage, let go of their, you know, whatever the hell was really holding them back, childhood issues, whatever it is. Um, temperance and the stars right next to each other, both cards of healing. So I feel like this person's making a decision with the judgment or someone's making a decision to basically let go of baggage. That way, you know, this can move forward. You may have definitely been dealing with someone who had some emotional problems. Maybe they had issues with uh, emotional intimacy. And I think that's why Growing Closer came out. Kind of similar to Libra. Could be done with a Libra. Okay. 
that's kind of what I'm feeling here, Aquarius. Um, a lot is going to be made very clear to you with the Sun card. Um, what is the Hierophant for Aquarius in love? What is this Hierophant? I feel like this is someone who wants to do the right thing. Okay. What is the Hierophant for Aquarius in love? Hierophant. Ooh. Okay. Well, this flew out. You have the Knight of Coins, and then you also have the... So this is someone who wants to open their heart, Ten of Cups, but they want to do it slowly but surely. Okay. So here's the thing. They're going to be expressing some kind of feelings to you, Aquarius. They are going to try to be more open with you. They're going to follow their heart more instead of trying to be, you know, head over heart with the Aquarius. But with the Knight of Coins here, I feel like, you know, you're still going to have to be a little bit more like patient with this person for them to fully, fully basically, you know, do this with you. But I do feel like it's a start. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. It's a start. And that's why things are changing because they don't want to be that same person that they were with you before. So judgment is kind of that energy of them or someone knowing that they need to change something about themselves if this is to move forward, okay? Whatever it was that was holding this person back, and you have the star card again. So this person's slowly but surely moving towards uh, this future that they see with you so bad, okay? This could be an earth sign. We have Taurus, Cancer, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius. What is the Nine of Swords for Aquarius in love? Tell us about this Nine of Swords. So there is guilt here, Aquarius. Yeah, this person, they may have broke your heart. There's definitely guilt here, uh, regret, okay? They were, yeah, they want to make up with you. Oh, look at Aquarius. Yeah, this person wants to make up with you. Six of Cups, okay? They broke your heart. They want to make up with you. I kind of feel like, yeah, there was just something about this person that kind of, Maybe they were breadcrumbing you quite a bit in the past, and that would be why it's like the person probably was kind of one foot in, one foot out type of situation. What is the Queen of Cups for Aquarius in love? So you guys would definitely make up. Um, this person definitely wants to let you know how they're feeling. I feel like this person is going to be more caring and loving towards you. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Three of Coins is here. The Tower and the Ace of Swords. Wow. So this person is going to be expressing that, you know, they do want to uh, further things with you here. They do want to rebuild with you or further things with you, um, and, but they're going to be approaching this from uh, with more of like them being um, loving towards you and caring towards you. Um, they probably really weren't before. What is judgment for Aquarius and love? What is judgment? What is judgment? Yeah, see, this person is making a decision to break away, could be a Capricorn, from something that was really holding them back. OK, they were in these chains. They were bound by negativity or just, you know, pessimism, um, childhood traumas, past relationships that did a number on them. Um, I feel like this is someone who who wants it's like this person has learned from that is what I'm hearing. Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, they've learned from that. And they know that this obviously can't move forward unless they do this. They make these changes. Um what is the sun? But the, with the sun, obviously, this is you being happy about these changes. Um, you know, this is you feeling pretty, pretty good. You're probably going to jump on a horse, too. I feel like you're going to be like, what the hell got into you? I don't know. Here's the thing, Aquarius. Like, I kind of get this energy that you're so used to this person being hit over hard. You're so used to this person basically acting like they don't care. You're just so used to that particular person. But you're going to be very surprised to see that they're i don't know how to why, why am i getting this feeling aquarius yeah you can be like what what the hell nine of swords um sorry nine of wands page of swords you're gonna be like what the hell got into you is this a setup is this a, like you know now if you're cross watching this for an aquarius this aquarius is gonna start being more loving and caring towards you and you're gonna be like what the hell are you about to poison me or something <laughs> you're gonna be surprised you're gonna be surprised you will all right, what is this star? Yeah, this person definitely wants to renew things with you. They want to approach this from more of like some type of positive uh, mindset. That's what they want to do. They don't want to let whatever they were, you know, whatever they had going on um, kind of, you know, treat you any kind of way because you do have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So it could be done with a cancer, somebody who was very like uh, insecure or there was just some issues with their emotions. Um wow strength wow look at that judgment in the two of cups again yeah this is someone who's made a decision to 
uh, follow their hearts. Um, what is the Knight of Cups? Some of you, if this is your partner, maybe you guys keep getting into problems because your partner is just, you know, been very stubborn or, you know, maybe they do have traumas that you didn't even know about. And now I feel like this is someone who's choosing. That's the key word. They're choosing to uh, approach things differently with you. They're choosing to, um, you know, basically follow their heart here. Aquarius, even if this is someone who, you know, you don't really have that much of a history with, this could be a newer person. They're gonna, they, they made their mind up that this is what they wanna do, okay? That's what judgment is all about. Um, making some type of decision or basically um, wanting to do things differently, taking account of what has happened, trying to figure out, okay, what needs to change, what needs to, you know. So you have Hermit Reverse. Now they want this to be a success. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. They wanna work together, work on this. And basically what they wanna do is they hope for a long-term relationship with you. Wow. Okay, Aquarius. Well, we like it a lot. All right, well, let's see. What does this person want to tell their Aquarius? I keep hearing that song by LL Cool J. <laughs> I'm gonna love you better. Yeah, this could be your divine masculine. Okay, your twin flame. Their ego was probably in the way. Like I said, that's how they were approaching things with you. They don't want to do that anymore. I'll make it all up, baby. Oh, look what we pulled. That is so cool. Okay, look. So we pulled the divine masculine and the divine feminine together, okay? So that is that is monumental, guys, okay? That is monumental. Um, so this is extra confirmation that this could be your, your masculine or your divine feminine that, that basically wants to do things differently, okay? They don't want to approach things the way they've been approaching it. I'll never find a love like yours. And because this freak knows that now they want to change, now they're having jealous thoughts of you with someone else. I'm thinking about taking a higher step of commitment, which that's what they want. My heart and soul belong to you. You're always in this person's dreams. Ooh, Ooh you have new love that flew out. So this could be a new person, new love, or maybe they just want to have new love with you. Maybe this freak, you know, they didn't feel good enough for you, but they're letting go of all of that. First thing on my mind in the morning, and you have falling in love with you. So some of you, this person, you know, they had trust issues. They basically were limiting themselves. You know, they weren't, they weren't really fully in with you, Aquarius. And you have, I want to rebuild our love. And once again, I want to make things official with you. I know you're the one. So this person definitely does want a commitment with you, Aquarius, okay? I don't know if it's, you know, this could be your energy as well to where you're worried about this. You're worried about, no. Don't be worried, honey, okay? This freak definitely wants a commitment with you. This is where they want to take this to, okay? This is exactly what they want. All right, well, that's what we got for the Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, and we will talk again soon.